to another lip balm review. This one of the tinted chapsticks I wanted the most badly, and it was the hardest one to track down, guys. Like, this took me months to find it. It was the Target exclusive one, as you can guess from the Target logo on it. It was the House Red in the Hinted Color line. I don't know why this one was so impossible to find. I think other people struggled with it too, because even on eBay there was nothing. Even if they had overpriced the shit out of it and had it for like 30 bucks, I probably still would have bought it just because I was so desperate to find the thing and was just so done with searching everywhere and asking everyone I knew to try and hunt it down for me. I probably would have paid it. Luckily, I did not have to pay that though, because I did end up finding it. It just took a really long time. And the irony for how long it took me to find it, it's been at least that long that I've had it sitting here unreviewed. I'm a genius. So, <laughs> anyways, gonna go ahead and do that today and just get on with it. Um, so, this, uh, on the front, we've got Advanced Moisturizing Formula with Maracuja and Jojoba Oils. I don't know what Maracuja is. Um, instantly smooths and moisturizes and enhances natural lip color. Cool, cool. Just get this out of the package and into my hand and on my face. Okay? Okay. Urgh, come on. Okay. <laughs> Trying to not totally jack up my nails because I just painted this hand, so they're still soft and not fully dry yet. So, Anyway, here is the packaging. It's that very silvery looking tube that looks like it should be made of metal, but it's not. It's this metallic plastic. But um, here's the color down the top. It's very, very pretty. I can't wait to try this on. Um, it's standard to any of the Chapstick Total Hydration packages. I feel like the only one that felt like it might have been different was the original release of Sweet Peach. That one felt like it was legit made of metal. So, um, <laughs> anyways. I don't know if it's still that way or not. I feel like they discontinued that one, which makes me really sad, but anyway. <sighs> These are not natural or organic. They are synthetic. It's chapstick. Unless you get the natural lip butters, they're all synthetic. I think this one's limited edition. They may not even be selling this one anymore at this point. I'm not sure. I just know that it took freaking forever and a day to find. And it seems like barely anyone has this one because, like, no one talks about it. And it makes me sad, because it's the one that I was looking the most forward to. Anywho, I'm a dumbass, because with the name House Red, I thought they were talking about, like, a house that is red. Like, a barn. This is where my having literally grown up in a barn as a child kind of rubs off, because it was a red house that used to be a barn. Um, and my sister was like, no, you dumb shit. They mean, like, House Red Wine. And I was like... Oh my god, the other one named Merlot makes I'm so dumb. I am so dumb. <laughs> but anyways, I mean, at least it answered a question, but I felt really, really stupid after that. So in case anyone else was unaware of the meaning of the name, it's named after wine. So learn from my stupidity. Anyway, amount of product in this is 0.12 ounces, so it's a little bit less than a standard stick, but all the total hydrations have this amount in them. I mean, it's still decent. Let me just roll that up for you guys. It's a little melty because it's a hot friggin' day out. Let me make sure there's no wonkiness. I will friggin' cry if there is. I don't think there is. I think it's just... yeah. It smells good, though. Here we go. Yep. Alright. Boop. Um, the price point on this... God, I don't remember what it was. I feel like it was in the four dollar range? Four or five? I want to say four. Um, and sturdiness wise, it clicks into place really well, so no worries about that. Nice hard plastic, no worries. It does have- oh, wait, 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 wait. I was gonna say it has the safety bump that keeps it down, but no, it is a lying liar. It looks like it should, but it does not stop it from going anywhere. So, okay, that. That is definitely one point against it right there. That kind of sucks. Hmm. Anyways, we talked about its proponents and stuff, and its special features already, so we're not going to go over that. So let's see what the scent smells like. The top layer, it looks a little bit weird. Not spoiled weird, just a little bit funky. So I probably am going to stop the video, 
trim the top and then put it on, but scent-wise, I'm trying to not get the nail polish smell from my hand in the way. It's very, very lightly scented. It mostly just smells like lipstick. Like, you know the generic lipstick smell? With the tiniest, tiniest hint of... I don't know what. I can't quite put my finger on what it is. I can tell it has a scent of something, but it's kind of nondescript. So, before I put this on, like I said, gotta trim that top layer just a little tiny bit. And I'll come right back, so hold on. Okay, so I didn't exactly do the cleanest job in the world. I kind of jacked it up a little bit, but it'll be fine. It'll be fine. So let's swatch on the hand first. I think, oh, oh my goodness. One swipe. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I live for the highly pigmented ones like this. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. I'm a happy puppy today. Alrighty. Let's try this on. Okay, uh, <laughs> I kind of jacked it up. I'm trying to just get it out to the corners without getting it everywhere. I'm just barely touching the edges right now. <laughs> okay. Wow. Look at that, guys. Okay, yeah, I should have used a little more caution, but always a trouble spot for me with tinted ones. Okay. And right there. There, more or less, anyway. And I should not be wiping this on black pants, because now I have a big awkward red streak. But look how gorgeous that is, my God, check it out, and look how white it makes my teeth look. Yeah, I am all about this color. I knew from the get-go this would be a favorite. That's an interesting taste. Okay, I think the very subtle scent I was picking up on is just like berry. Not cherry, which would make sense for bright red. No, it's just kind of generic berry. Because I can kind of taste it a little bit at the back of my tongue, even though I have not licked this. So I don't know what exactly is going on there, but so good. That is an amazing color. I love really, really bright red lipsticks and things, so I am all about this, and I'm like, yes, 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 bring it! <sighs> anyway, <laughs> now that my excitement is out of the way for this one, um, let us go through our usual. We'll do the kiss test first. I know it's gonna transfer. I already know this, but we're gonna do it anyway and see how badly. Not as badly as I thought, but still a lot of transfer. So um, if you're gonna do a lot of smooching, th this may not be your best bet. Just, just a thought. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and see if there's a flavor. I hope it's not gonna be gross. Hmm. Mm, don't lick it. Don't lick it. <laughs> kind of gross. Um, it's not terrible, but it's not good either, so. Alright, well, how this feels. It's actually pretty thin, but this is definitely one where you can feel the pigment, the powder of the pigmentation in there, and that's always kind of a turn-off to me when you can feel that, but, I mean, with high pigment things, that's kind of just the reality of how they work, unfortunately, so what can you do? Um, but yeah, it just, it's not the worst, but it doesn't feel drying, so that's definitely in its corners, in its favor. Um, but you do feel that weird powdery sensation, and that is not great, <laughs> um, at least for me. But let's see, Shine Factor, it's got some. Not super duper high gloss, but it's definitely not a matte either. So, I mean, it's kind of like a satiny finish. So, that's kind of nice. I'm gonna go ahead and do the drink test. Whoa! Almost knocked over a thing. <laughs> My straw looks like a murder scene. Hmm. 
Okay. Yeah, it did not pass the drink test. You can see right there where the pigment is just MIA now. <laughs> so, okay, that kind of sucks, but now we know it doesn't pass the drink test. I'm trying to see if I go like this. Can I transfer it? Hmm, kind of. Kind of. Not enough, but... Hmm. So. So. Okay, well. It's okay, though. I would still give it a wow factor, though, because that is just so pretty. So. I am pleased with it, regardless, color-wise. So, what will I rate this puppy? Well... I'm gonna dock a point against it for how hard it was to find and how exclusive it is. Um, the fact that it doesn't have the little safety bump in there to keep it from smashing up into the lid is another point against it. The weird taste is a point against it. It doesn't pass the kiss test. Um, the powdery texture, not wonderful. Um, it doesn't pass the drink test. So. Yeah, unfortunately, on paper, it gets a really bad rating, even though I like the color a lot. I'm definitely going to use the crap out of it. But on paper, this gets a 4 out of 10. Yeah. I mean, I already see right here where it's starting to wear off that quickly, so if technically I could even dock it one more for longevity. But. Yeah, you see how fast it faded, too. Hmm, well, that is a thing, unfortunately, so, it is what it is. I didn't go into it with high expectations, it still performed better than I was expecting, and it's the gorgeous color I was hoping for. I thought Merlot was going to be like this, and then it was like brown, so I'm glad that this one, at least, is a nice, bright red. That's what I wanted, that's all I wanted, so... Anyways, that's all I have to say for this one. So, as usual, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. How do you think it looks? I think it looks pretty snazzy. Do you have this one? What do you guys think of it? Let me know your thoughts down below, as well as anything else you feel like leaving me. Make sure you're following my social media accounts. They're all listed down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. So, anyway, guys, till next time. Bye-bye.